All right, I'm here to show you the common mistake that gets made when kids go to alphabetize after they've been taught to cross out to get through those letters that are the same. You can see here we have the word plant, bug, burger, and sand. And what ends up happening once kids have been taught to cross out is they will see that two letters here are the same. They both have B and they both have U. And so they will just start crossing out whole rows anywhere that they see that there are similar letters. And so then they would take this and they would say that this one is first because of the A and that this one is second because of the G and this one is third because of the N and that one would be R would be fourth. And so they would label this one, two, three, four. And the big mistake with that is that these didn't all have the same letter at the beginning. So I'm going to undo all my numbering there and cross out my lines. And instead, I'm going to show kind of moving these, and hopefully that will make more sense. We know that S is down here in the alphabet. And we know that B oops, is up here on the alphabet. And this B goes up here in the alphabet. And that that P would be right in here. So if we think about these, where they'd be in the dictionary or putting them in order, plant and sand just follow that first letter because they're not the same. However, bug and burger, if we line those up, this is when we would need to consider crossing out. They both have a B at the beginning. So then we go to the second letter. These two also both have a U. So then we would go to the third letter and we could see that G comes before R. So bug would be first, burger would be second, plant would be third, and sand would be fourth. And here our words are all in alphabetical order. Hopefully that helps and you understand that you always look at the first letter and you only cross out if they're the same and just those words, you go to the second letter and so on.